Hello investors, welcome back to Technical Analysis with Lennox. On today's video, we'll be looking at Twitter. The stock is actually down approximately 55% from all-time high. It's currently trading at $36.8 per share. And let's see what the technical analysis side of things has to say. So the stock, uh, we saw the stock reaching a yearly high of about uh, $54 per share. And it's now down back to 36.81 per share. Do you know what the danger is? Here's the danger. So the stock failed to, to hold at this level here. And we're seeing this now that the stock is coming back uh, to test the support. And it's going to challenge this support this time around. And based on my technical analysis, I do not see this support holding this time around. We are likely to see the stock uh, trading to as low as uh, 29 $29 per share. And this is uh, this would be my area of interest. And with that being said, I want you guys to keep an open mind. The stock can come and test this uh, demand zone here uh, if it fails to, to hold at this support here. So in most cases, uh, the stock will not reject at this trend line that you see here so i don't know if you guys can see it but there's a trend line from this uh level uh that uh goes through this point here at uh, 23 dollars and it's gonna be tested at 29 dollars uh, per share now um, i'm expecting this stock to come test this this trend line here and um it might reject but in most cases it's likely not to, to reject. So I'll be looking at this demand zone, which is around uh, 22 to $21 per share. And this would be a good buy zone for me. But uh, for those that would like to, to enter this, uh, this market, at this trend line, you can take the share at uh, $29 per share. But personally, my, my personal... Uh, buy zone the one that i'd really like is uh, this one here at uh, 22 dollars per share and this would be a proper buy zone for me but for those that uh, uh, like the shares 29 dollars per share you are very well taking this uh, position at 29 dollars per share but personally i want it at 22 dollars per share and this is likely to happen it's gonna happen if the stock fails to hold at uh, $29 per share. But um, in the long run, I'd have my my target at around $60 per share, and this would be this would be my first target here. So let's say the stock doesn't hold at $29 per share. It come and test this demand zone here. Are we expecting something like this? Um, we'll come test this trend line. And hopefully it'll come back above this trend line here. And once it's above this trend line the second time, this would be a great bullish signal. And from there, you can very well test this resistance at $60 per share. So what am I looking for? Personally, I'm looking at $22, $22 per share. But for those that want the share at $29, you can take this share on this trend support here. I wouldn't crucify you for that. But, but personally, I want the share at uh, $22 per share. And I'll be taking position from there. I'll have my take profit at around... Uh, $60 per share, and this would be a gain of uh, approximately 167%. And I think this is uh, this is fairly okay. And that would be my analysis on Twitter. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, and share the video. Otherwise, let's meet again, same place, same time.